Man, the three harsh realities of the dope game. You know what I'm saying? Ghost, he ended up getting smoked in the end. He wanted to get out a bunch of times. Got Drew back in. Franklin wanted to get out, but I think somebody took his money or something like that. And then you know, you see what happened to Big Meech ended up getting all that time. The harsh realities are trying to really ball on that level. You see all the stories, you see all the documentaries, you see all the kingpin shit and all that. And it. Some people glow. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people that's that's hard boiled, like, yeah, we know that's thing, we know, but we're gonna take that gamble anyway. A lot of people gonna still take that gamble, yeah. But I seen Big Meech at his height. I seen Ghost at his height. I seen Franklin on the thing. You know, Franklin is based off Rick Ross. You see what happened to the real Rick Ross. They just they just remember at the height. Like they say, y'all watch Scarface, but y'all watch Scarface, but you ain't seen the end of the movie. I know y'all done heard this a hundred times, man. I know y'all tired of hearing this. I know y'all like, oh gee, I'm tired of hearing this. I'm gonna I'm gonna be the one. And and you know, uh for you know, for every 10 that get caught up that's in, in dead or in jail or just messed off, you know, it's like one or two that made it, you know. One or two got a business, got a restaurant, you know, uh, you know, got a barber shop, you know, got a little strip mall. It's a few people that make it out, you know. But for the most part, it's a crapshoot. The game is a crapshoot. Like I say, when I was in the game, I only like to fuck with people that was like, I only like to do business with like soccer moms. I like to do my business with people that got other jobs that's legit. I didn't really like fooling with people where this is all they knew their whole life and all this, all they care about. Like I never fool with people like that. But you know, Franklin's reality at the end, Big Meech, Ghost, those are all the most truest forms of what really be happening to people when they try to really play at that level, man. It's a hell of a balancing act, man, I'm telling you. It's a hell of a balancing act when you when you in the streets that deep, you know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, getting out on time and getting out, you know, knowing when to get out, all that shit is a crapshoot, man. You don't know, you don't know who talking, you don't know who who plotting, you don't know when the plug on, you know, you don't know what's man. It's a it's it's an extremely it take a lot of a lot of prayer and a lot of luck, man. That shit like getting out of a dice game. It's like trying to get out of a dice game. You know, you you up, you didn't won a couple thousand, then you got people trying to get their money. You got people calling people to come bring them money. You got the gangsters in there. You got the the killers in the you know, it's, and over money, people get schizophrenic over money. Like they say, money is the root of all in, all, of all evil. I didn't seen I didn't seen dudes try to leave dice games and even playing with playing on Madden, just gambling. Period. You know what I'm saying? But getting out the dope game like trying to leave a dice game, man. You still ain't up. You didn't. You didn't won. You, uh, you know, you didn't won. You a hundred, but you see everybody still sitting there with stacks, of, with stacks in their hand. You trying to get to that? Are you already up? And you know everybody trying to win their money back. You know what I'm saying? So you, you gotta wait for, <laughs> you gotta wait for a phone call. Or I used to be in dice games. I used to text people be like, say, bro. Call my phone and act like it's an emergency. I need you to be yelling in the background and everything. I gotta get out this dice game, bro. I've been on my, my knees starting to get sore, bro. I've been I'm back I've been back here gambling with these niggas for like, you know what I'm saying, for damn near like two, three hours now, man. I gotta get out of here, man. Whenever I try to stand up and try to, you know, act like I'm counting my money for the league, you know, he with some people that kinda like look at me and kinda like follow me a little bit, you know. That's how dice games used to be. It used to be I just spent up in the hole or something. I, I I was in this one dice game. Every time I would stand up, like I was going to leave, dude had some niggas with him, that, and they'd kind of stand up. And like, when I walked towards the door, they'd kind of like see, you know, some a few times I'd walk towards the door, and they would kind of walk towards the door, and I would have to act like I was going outside the smoker square, or act like I was just going to take a piss or get on my phone, because they was, whenever I made a sign, like I was going to get up and leave, they was on it. But that's how yeah, the dope game, man. It's, it's hard to get out, man. Easy to get in. And it's easy to get out, but it's, sometimes it's not. You got people depending on you. You know what I'm saying? The, the plug depending on you to keep copping. The, the people that cop from you depending on you to keep getting it. Don't don't have don't have a few niggas up under you that you fronting. You know, it's just, it's a mess, man. But it's that's why I say it's street signs. It's a signs. That's, you know what I'm saying? Street signs. Street signs. You got to know. You got to be. <laughs> It's a hell of a balancing act, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? There's some legends that got out on time. And there's some people that's walking around off that wine. You know what I mean? It just, it just depends.